Hello, my name is Mr. Fontenot. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Mr. Fontenot 1111. Please like, share, and subscribe. In this video, I'll be calculating the AC values from the Chapter 15 Math Handout Problem Number 12. I'll be taking the values for this problem from the Chapter 15 Math Handout. We'll scroll down to number 12 and we'll see our values here on the chapter 15 math handout. All right, so I have 12 volts VT, an R1 of 120 ohms, R2 of 180 ohms, and R3 of 200 ohms. So looking at the circuit here, I see that I have R2 and R3 are in parallel with each other. So when I do my first redraw, I'm going to bring R1's value straight over, leave it at 120, and I'm going to use the reciprocal formula for R2 and R3 because they are in parallel with one another. This leaves me with two resistors in series. What do we do with resistors in series? We add them together. So this leaves me with a total resistance of 214.74 ohms. Now that I've got two out of three, I can find the value of IT. IT would be equal to the 12 volts of VT over the 214.74 ohms of RT, giving me a total current of 55.88 milliamps. Since R1 is on the main branch, I1 will be the same as IT showing you that on this step right here. So all the current's gonna flow, it's gonna split, it's all gonna come back together, and it's all gotta flow from this point to this point. So however much IT is, that's how much I1 is. Now I've got two out of three for V1, so I take the 55.88 milliamps times 120 ohms, and that gives me a V1 value of 6.71 volts. V2 and V3 will be the same, but they cannot both be 12 volts because I've already dropped 6.71 volts at V1. So I simply subtract the 6.71 volts from the 12 volts, and that gives me the value of both V2 and V3 using this equation. All right, now I've got two out of three for I2, so I can take the 5.29 volts divided by 180 ohms. Gives me 29.39 milliamps. For I3, take the 5.29 volts divided by 200 ohms. Gives me 26.45 milliamps. And that completes all of my RMS values, all of my RMS steps. So all of these voltage values, all of these current values are RMS values. And now I just have to find my AC values. So the first thing I'm asked for is RT. Well, RT is just RT, so there's no additional work there. IT peak. All right, well here I have an IT RMS of 55.88 milliamps, so I take the 55.88 milliamps times 1.414 using formula number one to find peak when I have RMS. And that gives me a value of 79.01 milliamps. Now I need VT peak to peak. I have my VT RMS value of 12 volts times 1.414 that brings it up to my VT peak. And now I just simply need to, to find peak to peak. I just need to take the peak value that I just calculated times two. So I'll say times two equals 33.94 volts for my VT peak to peak. Now 